Tom O'Reilly is back on the IoT show to tell us about the upcoming IoT in Action webinar, uh, which is uh, going to be about Azure Sphere. So they're going to talk about security, they're going to talk about lots of interesting things. Here's a sneak peek at that upcoming webinar. This is the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, your host, and uh, with Tom O'Reilly today, we're going to talk about IoT in action. This is uh, another uh, IoT uh, show episode about this uh, series of webinars. Tom, thanks for coming on the show again. Great to be back. Always a pleasure. And uh, today, we, uh, we're going to get some updates on the IoT uh, in action webinar series mm -hmm. and some introduction or sneak peek into an upcoming one, which is about Azure Sphere. Azure Sphere. So uh, before jumping in that, for those who don't know the IoT in Action webinars yeah. and events, can you actually give us a little uh, overview of what they are? Sure. So the IoT in Action series is both an in-person event series and a webinar series. The event series we hold around the world, and it's okay. an area for people to be able to see IoT in the, you know, what's actually happening there. Okay. Learn how to build it and partner. That's what the in-person event series is. In the webinar series, we look at a set of industry verticals. Mm -hmm. And in those industry verticals, we take a look and we get a, an industry expert to come in and really tell us about what are some of the, the, the factors that are driving the digital transformation in those particular industries. Okay. We then generally get a partner that comes in and talks to us about a solution that they've built to be able to take advantage of what opportunities are existing in the market. And then finally, we show people what are some of the open source reference designs that Microsoft has built that are available on GitHub that anyone can take and use and build their own solution. Awesome. So the upcoming one is about Azure Sphere. It's a little bit different, it is. So this it is, is a, right? This is a special edition uh, webinar mm -hmm. that we're going to do, and it's a two-part series. Mm -hmm. The first one is I get to talk to the guys who actually created and built Azure Sphere. And for those that don't know what Azure Sphere is, it's an MCU device, it's a secure operating system, mm -hmm. and it's a security management service that keeps that device secure for the life of that product. As in, Microsoft keeps your device secure, right? It does. It's something that we have a lot of experience in. I mean, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's, and, and we're trying to bring and help customers do that. There's over 9 billion, that's B, billion devices that come online with MCUs mm -hmm. every single year. Yep. Less than 1% of these are actually connected. And the connectivity of these devices, whilst they can be extremely beneficial, they also create an additional risk mm -hmm. that for many customers, for many manufacturers, was one that was unforeseen. An example of this, there was a, a casino in Las Vegas that actually got hacked through a fish tank thermometer. So. <laughs> Like in, movie, like in the movies? Like Literally, really? <laughs> I mean, this, these are things that actually happen. And when we start thinking about connecting our refrigerator, mm -hmm. our oven, you know, we're inviting technology into our lives, whether it be where we work, where we play, where mm -hmm. we live, where we recreate. And in doing so, there's an inherent risk. So mm -hmm. whilst there is opportunity, there is also a huge area that we need to take care of to help people make sure that they are secure and this technology does not become you know, used for ill purposes. Got it. So the webinar uh, will talk about the, the, the risks, right? These yep. scenarios, and then we'll get into um, the Azure Sphere product itself, correct? Exactly. And so, so what is it that Azure Sphere brings to the table that really, without spoiling uh, it too much, because yep. actually we're going to yeah. dive into the topic during the webinar, but what in a nutshell are the, the forces, the technologies in Azure Sphere yep. that help solve this problem or address these security issues? Yeah, so we're going to get to talk to uh, Galen Hunt, who's uh, the managing partner who created yeah. the technology and a few of the other people on his research team mm -hmm. to go through, like you said, what are the risks associated with it? And then what's our approach been to try and solve it? Right. We are partnering with a whole group of silicon partners to actually build the chips and they will build the chips mm -hmm. and, uh, and use them. The part that Microsoft provides is a secure operating system, which okay. is based on that, which is on that chip, as well as that security update service which allows people to not worry that if there is a major attack, that Microsoft is actually there to go and help secure, update, and manage the security around those devices on their behalf. And, and so, 
like in a nutshell, mm -hmm. you were saying Microsoft is updating the devices on their behalf. They're actually updating the, the secure security. layers, right? Yes. What's, what's actually core in that the application itself is leveraging and running on top, correct? Correct, yeah. You basically have your, your house that is like safe. Yes. And maintained by Microsoft and pushed to that device. Yeah. And, and that's really, really important. As I said, for a lot of OEM makers that have been working with MCU devices, mm -hmm. and so you can recognize them, if you've got something in your house that has a button or has a small LCD display, yeah, yeah. so non-color mm -hmm. display, mm -hmm. it's highly likely that's an MCU-based device. And like I said, there's billions of them. Yep. And as they get connected, this is really a new skill set where we believe that we have a tremendous amount to offer by leveraging our experience for securing you know, lots and lots of different devices for decades. So I'm sure that uh, these teasing actually work really well. People yeah. want to know when yep. and where. So basically, uh, can you share the date and yeah. some links? So we're going to do this as a two-part series. Okay. And the first one is, as I said, we're going to go through, we're going to hear from the researchers, mm -hmm. we're going to see a demo of, the, of just how easy it is to use modern coding tools to, to program MCUs as well. Okay. I mean, one of the challenges with MCUs, if you've ever had to code one, it's old programming language. We're going to show you how that you can use modern tools like Visual Studio to go and code and deploy these at scale. For MCUs, yeah. For That's MCUs. Awesome. The second part uh, of the series, we're going to do an unboxing. So there's a whole bunch of okay. developer kits that will become available very soon. Uh -huh. And we're going to unbox those developer kits and take you through how to get started rapidly so that you can start experimenting and, and getting your own POCs up and running. I think you just nail it down. Like people not only are excited now, they're already signing up yeah. for the webinar. Look, I'm super excited about yeah. it. I think that we're going to see some amazing innovation that comes out of this space with with in this MCU class of device. It, yeah. is, it is highly pervasive, it's happening everywhere. And uh, now it's really important that we get these secured and we lower the risk for, for consumers. You guys are setting the bar pretty high for the IoT in Action series of webinar. Uh, I can't wait to see the next ones and you'll be back on the show for that, right? I will be. Thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate the partnership and, yeah. and you know, we're, it, it's really exciting for us to be able to show and be chosen by a lot of these teams to help highlight some of these t great technologies that are coming yeah. out. This is awesome. Thanks a lot, Tom. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for the IT Show and uh, to actually uh, sign up for the webinars. Yeah.